From Ashes by Stephen Gray is an ambitious educational VR experience that creatively blends ideas from Titans of Space, Welcome to Oculus and Sightline the Chair into a delightful 25 minute lesson with the sweep and grandeur of TV's Cosmos. It's another very strong example of a compelling VR experience that requires no input other than your attention. Your guide, TV Head, takes you on a journey from the Big Bang to the formation of the planets and the ascent of man, the whole time seated at your desk. The script is rather well written. It's a welcoming blend of science facts, poetry and playfulness. It is well structured and informative even as it breezes through such heavy material. It culminates in some pretty bold suggestions about the cosmic significance of VR, but it sells them quite powerfully, at least to my sympathetic ears. Unfortunately, the narrator is no Carl Sagan or Neil deGrasse Tyson. He doesn't do a bad job, but it has to be said that his voice just doesn't have the gravitas that the subject matter demands. All we know is that it started with the Big Bang. The whole universe was crammed into a small space. It was far too hot for atoms to form. This is an elementless world. A cosmic soup of simplicity. Visually, some sections of the tour are definitely better than others, but almost all of them are very well composed, and there are lots of illustrative devices used to punctuate the narration. The Big Bang section makes inventive use of sound and stereoscopic 3D. The formation of the seas and the birth of life on Earth both play on a sense of presence and make good use of positional tracking. The visits to the various other planets in the solar system is probably the weakest segment of the experience, in terms of just not being that interesting. Most of the rest of the criticisms that can be levied against parts of the tour stem from animations not quite living up to the lofty ambitions of the piece. Many aren't bad and creatively work within the developer's limitations, but several action scenes fade to black to simply avoid animation altogether, which does stick out like a sore thumb. Other sections, like the moon landing, simply feel unfinished, even if the iconic audio keeps it powerful. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. That's one small step for man, one giant leap. The ambition of From Ashes is to be praised, but unfortunately it is that very ambition that causes the drawbacks to stand out so clearly. That your guide has a TV for a head, for example, is a totally understandable concession to the animation challenges and probably a sensible choice to avoid the uncanny valley but the fact that he spends so much time sitting across the table from you means that you can't help but wonder how much more compelling the narration might be if he had a realistic face and looked you in the eye. Had survived what giants could not. Now the land belonged to the mammals. From Ashes is a very good educational experience that dares to think big in terms of subject matter and creative challenge. From a content and composition perspective, it holds together nicely and is well worth 25 minutes of your time if you're looking for more seated VR experiences. However, I can see that more cynical viewers will be unable to ignore some of the clunkier animations and transitions, and so might want to wait for a version 2. With a bit more animation work and another coat or two of polish, From Ashes could become a timeless VR classic. With a primitive form of science. And how would you pass on what you had learned to your children and all generations to come? You would write it on the walls. 
with art.